Within minutes of that verdict, we heard from many of Colorado's elected leaders. Senator John Hakenlooper saying black Americans deserve a world in which their lives aren't threatened by the very people sworn to protect them. We must reform a broken system that continues to allow these tragedies to happen. Denver 7's Liz Gillardi joins us from the state capitol tonight with more passionate reaction from our lawmakers. Liz. Some lawmakers with the Black Caucus actually watched that verdict together. And just a short time ago, they held a press conference. And at times, they were emotional. And we are watching those reactions unfold really across the country. Colorado lawmakers we talked to are expressing relief, but they also say there's still more work to do. You might remember last year, Colorado passed several police reform measures, including being the first state to end qualified immunity, which often protects police from being sued. State Representative Leslie Harrod described watching the verdict with her colleagues. And I think we're still shell shocked, to be honest with you. Um, we looked at each other about 12 times, wanted to hear again the verdict. Did you hear the same thing? Because it was unbelievable. Unbelievable that someone was finally prosecuted for murdering someone in our community. Yeah, just powerful, powerful comments from some of our elected leaders and outside the state capitol. We're also seeing them take steps to secure the buildings. Concrete barriers have uh, went up around the capitol and also all of the cars have been moved just as a preventative measure. We know several groups are planning to gather here uh, this evening. Reporting live with Gillardi, Denver 7.